we think it would be good to play from the end of the urges right here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 48C2552. In today's episode, we decided to dive into the C2552 scale and all of the extended chords. We did quite a bit of review, reminding ourselves what are the extended chords anyway? The extended chords are these chords highlighted in yellow. The C, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5, any chord that skips one half tone and then skips two and so forth. And we're used to working with all these other chords like a major 4, 3 and a minor 3, 4 and a diminished 3, 3. And we even have been regularly working in the series with 1, 1 and 2, 2. What we have been doing lately, especially in the 3, 4, 4, 3 R, was working with the, these extended chords here. In the process of adding those extended chords to our materials, it has given us significantly more chords to work with here. 56 chords now for C2552. How did we get there? We worked with this first reference spreadsheet, which uh, shows every minor chord and every major chord and every full tonality chord, which is the scale where you put the minor and major notes all together and see what you get that you couldn't have gotten any other way. And you've seen us, we already had this before. And we worked with this and we copied it over here and added it to all these chords down here that play. And then we took the chords from here and copied and pasted them into a composing reference score where everything is sorted into four groups. These are all the chords that have minor and major mode notes in them. Like here's some minor notes. And here's the major ones. We also sorted it into groups that have neutrals. Here, these have the neutrals. And these have neutrals. So here's the difference, and we're listening for little melodic lines that pop out in our ears when we listen to that. These are the chords sorted uh, or that have urge notes in them, like this, and this. You can almost hear a little melody there. Like that. And then the last group is the chords that have root notes in them, like this and this. And the fun thing is, because we're using a full tonality scale, we also have <sighs> this hated earworm. Well, that's not the hated earworm. That one, actually, that one we liked. And you can see that everything is sorted by tonic, dominant, ambivalent, subdominant, and so forth and so on. So where we're going with that is um, to compose in C2552 by listening to those chords. And so we've exported it and made a listening copy out of it. What we're going to do is just play um, one of these sequences for you. We'll play the one that has all the urges in it with little one second pauses and then we'll take us home from there. So here we go. And we just highlight that again, there are 56 total chords 
in this C2552 tonality when you include all the extended chords. In other words, everything that's on this chart, all 19 types of chords, when you put them and go through them like that. And then we take those 56 chords and then we take, it's like taking all the hearts and the clubs and the diamonds and the whatever the other one is and shuffling them out. And sometimes, you know, the same chord has a, has a, a mode note in it and it has a root note in it. And so it gets counted twice. So in doing that, we have 117 chords listed on here on our palette to kind of dab our brush in and paint on a fresh score and listen to it. So that's where we're going with that. So this concludes today's stream and our ideas for next time are pretty simple. Continue the dive into C2552 and begin our trial cadences. So thank you as always for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.